One of the things that people don't know is there are actually two Pender Islands. There's North Pender and South Pender. And of course we say around here, two islands, countless treasures. But it's two islands in a very real way because there are some of the urban experiences that people want, like art galleries, restaurants, bistros, wineries, for instance. But you can also find a quiet field, a deserted beach, or a beautiful forest trail to walk in. So we say, two islands, countless treasures. The two islands have very distinct characters. North Pender is more populated, has more services, and South Pender has more rural, open farm fields and quiet coves. Many people who come to Pender just enjoy putting their feet up and reading a good book, and it's a great place to do that because of the solitude. But if you, after a couple of days of rest, want some activities, there are numerous things. The golf course is a beautiful little nine-hole golf course, very affordable, friendly, gorgeous setting in an old historic farm. There's one of North America's top disc golf courses here on Pendron. I believe they have 36 holes of disc golf. It's a fabulous afternoon hike through the forest. Travel to Pender Island is very simple. BC Ferry sails twice a day from Tawasan and six times a day from Victoria. So there's a number of different ferry rides. You can also take a float plane from Vancouver, quite affordable. It's a 30 minute float plane over some of those beautiful scenery that you can imagine. That's another way. There are water taxis operating from Victoria and then a lot of people just bring their private boats. One of my favorite places on Pender Island is Roseland, which is now the museum site and a national park. Historically, Pender Island has been a site for hospitality for a century. There is an old-fashioned hospitality ethic here on Pender Island. People love to have visitors, they love to talk about their lives on Pender Island, and they love to welcome visitors from busier locations into their quiet lives to have a little experience of what life can be like when it's not yanking you all over the place. And I think hospitality, more than anything, is what unites Pender Islanders.